All right. There's Tom. Hey, George. <laughs> How you doing? Pretty good. With Coach Steck retiring, I was hoping that I could hear some thoughts from you about your time coaching with Chris. Well, I guess I can start off, you know, I uh, just congratulate Chris Steck on his, uh, on his retirement and uh, the, the fact that he coached all those years, helped all those young men go after goals. It, it's, 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 it's a great tribute to him. You know, that he'll probably miss it a lot because <laughs> even after I, I was done, I, I coached my, my, my kid grade school team for five years. So <laughs> yeah. success is one thing, but, but the, the key is every year taking a group of kids and, and setting up goals, having them strive for goals. It's, it's, a, it's a great life skill. And, and you know, he's probably touched thousands of, of, of people doing this. So it's, it's, it's a great thing. Absolutely. Yeah. I guess you, you knew him as, as a, a younger coach. I only knew him when, when he did yeah. coach me, uh, and he was yeah. already pretty established in his ways and, you know, right. was already the, the wise, wise old guy that, you know, he is now. Anything you can tell me about his, his early years with the program? Initially, when he first came here, he got into the track program, but he was coaching girls cross country, his assistant girls cross country coach for, for a while. And um, he was at Stag High School. His 89, I think 89, 90 team, was second in state and he had a you know close contact with a group of guys there and in his track experiences he he, uh he coached a a guy that became uh one of our national leaders in javelin uh puxtis i think he represented the united states in in some big meets maybe even the olympics tom puxtis i think it was it's one of his stag days and then uh like I said, early on, he was uh, assistant coach to Debbie Revolta. And, you know, I just, I just remember uh, in co- coaching and track, you know, just, you know, co- coach tech motivating uh, kids and always working towards personal records. So, like, everybody, everybody can be, everybody can set a personal goal and, and reach it and stuff like that. You know, so it, it was always an impressive thing to, to see. And, he, and when he was the head coach, it, 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 we'd have a weekly meeting and he'd hand, hand out personal best little stickers to put on on your shoes or whatever <laughs> yeah. it was at coaching track for a while like over 10 years i think and then um any anyone that, that that coached that many years and and to reach that many people and it's 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 just it's it's just a great accomplishment and you should enjoy the retirement he has uh, unfortunately it's not, not the best time to go out and enjoy it, but uh, <laughs> I think we'll get there eventually. So. Oh, we, we certainly will. All right, Great George, talk. take care. You as well. All right. All right. Bye. Bye-bye. Hey, Chris. Congratulations on your retirement. It's hard to believe I was first introduced to your talents as a coach all the way back when I ran against your legendary stag teams in high school. Your longevity is to be commended. Whether it's over 30 years of coaching distance runners or your numerous marathons or your consistent example you set for the young runners you shaped, your consistency is all things is a staggering example to us all. You've always been a man of integrity, whether it's making the unpopular call as an official or refusing to let newbies cut corners at practice, everyone always knows where they stand with Coach Steck. Your excitement for the sport is infectious. I'm so glad you were the first one there to congratulate the runners when they won the state 4x800 meter championship. I'll always picture you standing on your step stool at the finish line of the state cross country meet, willing guys like Farina or Burgoon or Dorzel to an all state finish. We coached together for 15 years, and a lot of what I know about coaching and a belief about life was shaped by working with you. With all the knowledge you brought to the runners, the mentorship you provided me, and the example you set for everyone, the thing I undoubtedly treasure the most is your friendship. Congratulations on your retirement, and enjoy your life in North Carolina. Keep logging miles and hit them straight down the middle. Hi, this is Kurt Weisenberger. I coached with Chris Steck from 2007 to 2014. I was predominantly the JV coach during those eight years. Uh, Here's a couple things that I remember about coaching with Chris. Chris was always very serious about the sport. He was very serious about being successful. Uh, He worked hard as a coach and he had high expectations and he expected his kids to also work hard. He demanded respect from those kids. 
and kids responded. Kids did not want to disappoint Coach Stack. Chris really cared hard about kids pulling their weight. Everybody on that team had to pull their weight. Uh, even some of my JV kids, he, I can just remember times when he would pull, you know, kids aside and, you know, kind of ream them out a little bit, give them a little bit of tough love about um, giving their all and every kid giving 100% effort because he firmly believes that the team can only be as strong as its weakest link. And if one kid is slacking off and that sets a bad example for everybody else. And like I said earlier, that kids just responded to that and uh, they were successful because of it. And it was a great life lesson, lesson for those kids. So Chris, during the time that I was uh, coaching was the head Frosh Soft boys coach. And he had some great Frosh Soft teams. And I can just remember him sort of teaching those kids determination and hard work leading to success. And during our time, you know, as a coaching staff during those years when I was there, we had, we had a lot of success at the varsity level. You know, we qualified for state a couple times and we did well at state. And I firmly believe that a large part of that was because of, you know, those kids as varsity runners had learned under coach stack, um, you know, the value of hard work and, um, they had be truly become runners, right? And that just sort of matriculated up in the program and led to success uh, at the varsity level. So thanks for that, Chris. You know, some of my favorite memories of Chris earlier, I already shared a little bit about him like pulling aside kids and giving a little bit of tough love about not working hard enough. Aside from that, I loved going to the Argo invite with Chris. You know, for Chris, that invite was uh, like a homecoming. Chris knew everybody at that invite. And it was really cool to see uh, the relationships that he had built as a coach along the years, not only with other coaches, but officials and the people running that invite. This was also something that happened at state. When we went to state, Chris kind of knew everybody and uh, it was cool to see those relationships. The final memory that I would talk about as far as uh, coaching with Chris would be those state qualifying teams. And it was a joy for all of us as coaches to uh, see the hard work that the kids had put in, you know, pay off and to be able to feel like we had been a part of something special in their lives. And that was just really cool for, you know, not only me, but for me to see, you know, Chris enjoy that and Ty and Matt and some of the other coaches at the time. So with that, I'd like to end and just say, Chris, I wish you and Mary all the best in this new chapter in your lives. Happy retirement. Congratulations, Coach Steck, on your retirement. You're the perfect coach to introduce our freshmen to the team and to develop our sophomores as leaders. I'll never forget visiting your classroom as a senior with Broncos committed and seeing all the team pictures on your wall of decades worth of students that you have impacted. You are a phenomenal coach. We wish you the best in your retirement. Congratulations on your retirement, Coach Steck. Uh, you'll be continued to be missed by everyone in the Barrington cross-country community. When Coach Deck is mentioned by me and my teammates today, we always think about the value of hard work that you instilled in everyone, uh, your incredible bluntness, and your ability to tell, uh, tell everyone on the team the truth when we needed to hear it. To this day, one of my favorite running quotes is, you get better by, at running by running a lot, and that comes from you yourself. And another memory I have is one time at the Palatine Invite, you showed me and some other runners the training plans you had when you were the head coach at Stag. And it was filled with tough workouts and doubles every day, and that kind of showed uh, me and a few other guys that we could kind of take the training up a level and continue to get better and work harder if we really wanted to achieve success. Thank you once again, and I'm sure the program will continue to have the values that you brought to them when you were a coach at Barrington. Thank you. Hey, Coach Steck. Thank you for your guidance as a coach and for pushing me to become a better runner and better individual. Something you said when I was a freshman that has stuck with me is long, slow running makes long, slow runners. This speaks to the process of becoming a better runner, obviously, pushing yourself outside of your comfort zone to get faster and stronger but I believe it transcends to life as well. And I really appreciate you teaching me that lesson. Thank you again for everything, and I wish you a happy retirement. Hey everyone, Prashant Jairaman, class of 2007. Um, when I think back to uh, my memories of working with Coach Steck, uh, two big things come to mind. Um, 
And the first was how he instilled this idea of doing things with purpose and trying to be the very best at whatever it is you're going to do. And the notion of looking towards others for motivation and something to aspire to. Um, I still remember my very first day coming out for cross country as a freshman. I showed up in a pair of basketball shoes, rather unprepared for the mile time trial that Coach Seck had planned for us. And I still remember this look of disappointment as I showed up. Definitely not ready to run long distances in any sense. And I remember leaving practice that day and just, I, I wish I could remember the exact words, but his oh, the overall message I got that day was that if you're going to come out here and run with us, obviously having the right equipment is the first thing, but come out here with purpose. Come out here that trying to actually be a good runner. I wholeheartedly admit I showed up to uh, my first cross-country practice thinking that this was just going to be a sport that got me out of gym class. Lo and behold, it ended up meaning so much more to me than that. Moving on to later in my freshman year, the biggest lesson I took away from Coach Seck was that we should always look to others to inspire us and as something to aspire to. And I remember it took a while for that to take hold, that, that principle to take hold. But I, it finally did to an incredibly tangible degree on, um, I can't remember if it was our very last day of track practice or cross country practice, but I watched uh, our very own Coach Root run a 434 mile, if I recall correctly, as an end of year time trial. And I still remember going up to him and basically saying, that's the most amazing thing I've ever seen. Um, and from then on, for sure, if I wasn't before, I was at this point, I was hooked. Um, I had the good fortune of coming kind of close to that at some point a few years later. So um, I definitely have to credit a lot of that that early turnaround and motivation to Coach Steck's principles that he imparted upon all of us. So uh, with that, Coach Steck, uh, congratulations. I really valued having you as, as, uh, as one of my coaches and all the best for the future. I can't say enough good things about Coach Steck and the example that he has set for me. And I think as I've gotten older, I've grown to appreciate that even more than I did when I was a kid. Um, I think we, we live in a world where people want things done quickly. They, they want the quick fix, the magic bullet. And that's kind of unfortunate because I think I've learned over the years that the really important things in life, uh, in the workplace, in relationships, in things like running, you know, those valuable things, they take time and they take effort and consistency and dedication over not just days and weeks and months, but um, over years, over a lifetime, over a career. And I think Coach Steck is the, the perfect example of that. I mean, he, he was coaching before I even existed. He was my coach in middle school. He was my coach in high school. And, you know, when I would go back as alumni for a race or just a run, you know, Coach Steck would be there. Um, and it was wonderful to connect with him there. Um, and it doesn't surprise me at all that, that years after I left, you know, graduated Barrington, that he's just now retiring. I think, you know, that just shows that he exemplifies those qualities of, of hard work, dedication, commitment over a career, over a lifetime. So coach, I just want to say, you know, congratulations on your retirement and thank you for being such a good role model to me and many other generations of Barrington runners. Best of luck. Hi, Coach Deck. It's Nick Farina. Uh, first of all, congratulations on your retirement. Uh, it is well earned as having both been a student and an athlete of yours. And uh, I, I hope you have a wonderful retirement ahead. Just wanted to share, you know, a couple things. First, I will always be grateful uh, for the lessons of, of discipline that you instilled in me. Uh, you know, I'm the type of person that needs to be held to a high bar. And if I'm not, I, you know, I don't always do what I'm capable of, but I, with you as my coach, I always felt that I was being held to a high standard that would allow me to, to continuously strive for more, but always in, in a way that felt caring and, and was never intimidating. Um, so that, that was just some of the best leadership that I can recall having. And the second thing that I, that I always loved about working with you was your love of the sport and your love for track and field is, is, is just infectious. And as a young athlete, that really helped get me more into it. So uh, the lessons I've learned from you, I've carried my whole lifetime and I'm grateful and I hope that 
I'm able to pay those forward in, in the world as you have. Uh, so congratulations and have a wonderful retirement. Hi, Kurt Steck. This is Albert, uh, class of 2001. Just wanting to wish you a happy retirement. I uh, wanted to also tell you how much we appreciate everything you've done for us. It's hard to believe it's been over 20 years, but still appreciate all the lessons we learned uh, as far as dedication and grit. Wishing you all the best in retirement. Uh, congratulations. Again, very well deserved. Hey, Coach Tech, it's Jack Coombs. I had the privilege of having you both as a teacher at Prairie and, of course, a coach while running cross country. I don't think I'd have the same dedication to fitness or my work ethic if I didn't have you as a teacher or a coach. You were just a great guiding force for us as runners as we started our fitness and athletic journeys, and I know you've helped many students throughout your career. So I just wanted to say congrats on retirement, and I hope you truly enjoy it. Thank you. Hey, Coach Tech. Hey, Coach Tech. Hi, Coach Tech. Thanks for all your years of service. Yeah. Uh, so some stories about you and things that we remembered. Um, mine was probably after, well, we've got a lot, but mine was after eighth grade when I got disqualified in the mile, I was being a little too aggressive and pushed a kid out of bounds. And you said, well, good thing it happened now because I'll never do that again. <laughs> and I didn't, so uh, thank you for that. So what I, my favorite stack story is definitely when we were standing up in the sitting up in the grandstands as freshmen and sophomores, and you gave us the, the best speech about, if you're gonna be a garbage man, you better be the best damn garbage man you can be. Everyone remembers that one. Yeah, it's a classic. <laughs> so uh, one of my favorite memories uh, was definitely a, a, a joking one. Um, back when you, you would bring your dog uh, to practice sometimes, we got to meet him a couple of times. We kind of just set up a running joke that we thought it was a girl when Barnabas was actually a guy. <laughs> Um, and then we sort of culminated it with giving uh, you a coach's gift at the end of the season. It was a pink bandana for Barnabas. <laughs> and your response, you're always normally so reserved. And um, I think you kind of murmur, you know, as, oh, he's a boy, what are you guys he's kind of responding to our joke uh, throughout the season? But at the end of it, you finally said, he's a boy! <laughs> <laughs> it was great to get that reaction. Yeah. You because you're always such a, a calm, metered person. Uh, in all jokes aside, you were always the person I could rely on to be calm and know what the hell was going on uh, in situations, yeah. especially meets, hmm. and I always appreciated that. Thank you. Thanks, Coach. Thanks, Tech. One of the things I remember you know, most vividly about Coach Tech was one day he was having all the freshman and sophomore guys running set 100 meters at a time at their easy run pace just to get the, the pacing down. And I remember just thinking this is kind of a strange activity, but kind of understanding, you know, at the time Coach Tech's success that he'd had a coach, you know, at Stag, and then just, you know, success with all the athletes at the freshman and sophomore level. It just made it, you know, easy for me to trust. And I, you know, I think I found that his confidence and his, you know, his method was, you know, made it easier to maybe, you know, trust in the weird stuff that, you know, you would be doing on a day-to-day -day basis, you know, whether it be just running weird 100 meters at a time. And I think that's something that really stuck with me as I, you know, progressed and, you know, was, a, was an athlete, just feeling that, you know, if you could trust the coach that nothing else really, you know, all fell into place. And I definitely felt that under, you know, Coach Dak, under Coach Gorman, with Coach Brute, and then, you know, at the collegiate level as well. So definitely something that I took with me from Coach Deck's, uh my time with Coach Deck over the years. And uh, wishing you a happy retirement, Coach Deck. Hope everything's well. Hey, Coach Deck. I just wanted to congratulate you on your retirement. I know it's been a heck of a lot of hard work and consistency along the way to get here, but congratulations. I'm very, very happy for you and your wife. And I still hope that we get to spend some time sometime in North Carolina um, when you're out there in the mountains. But anyway, I just wanted to kind of recall a couple things. 13 years ago when I finished high school, I said it, and it's the same thing again. Uh, I'm so grateful for you for, you know, convincing Gorman to take a chance on me when I was still playing hockey. And I think what I really learned from that was um, sometimes it's the little things that really make a difference. Um, you know, for me, if it wasn't for you, I never would have gotten into running. I never would have met a lot of these people I met over the years, great friends. Um, and I just never would have gotten into the sport. So I, thank you very much for that. And then um, another thing I'll, I'll always remember is just the, the attitude from you of always do things the right way, consistently do things the right way and with integrity. And I saw that a lot with the way you coached and also just frankly the way you were as a meet official as well. So anyway, congratulations again on your retirement. I know the Barrington team and the, the district and program are going to miss you. And I certainly hope that we're able to get together again sometime. So take care. Bye. Hey, just want to say a huge thank you to Coach Steck for all he's done for the Barrington Cross Country Program and for being one of the best coaches I've ever had and for helping me get to the point where I am today. 
I think the thing that was most special about Coach Steck was that he always told you what you needed to hear and not necessarily what you wanted to hear. Like if you were being an idiot, he walked up to you and told you to your face. And that was uh, just one of those things that helped you get from some middle school nerd to a real high school runner. Um, and it made a huge difference in all of our lives. My favorite memories of Steck, though, definitely have to be seeing him on the track, even though he wasn't coaching us. Um, at one or two mute meets every year, you'd see him as an official. Just seeing him there was always awesome to know, hey, got a, got a friend rooting for you on the court. And I think it was my senior year at State, Steck was the official for the race, and he walked up to me before the race and shook my hand and told me I was going to do great. And um, that was just one of the most inspirational things ever, and it just really helped me get focused for the race and do what I needed to do, and it was awesome. And I think the thing that really sets Coach Steck apart is that above everything else, he really stood for the motto that Barrington Cross Country not only makes better runners, but better people. Coach Steck, where to begin? I had the rare opportunity to be mentored by Coach Steck, both as a runner in high school, and I ended up doubling down and coached with him for a few years as well. Um, and as we ended up getting to know each other a little bit better, uh, I always tried to get a behind the scenes look of the mysterious Coach Steck. But as we got to know each other a little bit better, it became clearer and clearer to me that he was the same person off the track that he was on the track. Just an honest, hardworking, intelligent individual that truly cared about his passion. I've been fortunate to have a lot of mentors in my life and Coach Steck definitely stands out as one of them because he stepped into the role that a lot of young men need at that stage of life. He was a bit of a hard ass, no doubt, but one that will tell you what you need to hear at that stage of growth. It comes from a base of caring and understanding, uh, and, you know, to push you to want to be better, to succeed, and to understand the value of giving 100% of yourself to your actions in life. You know, a small, scared freshman's exposure, often, often their first exposure to Barrington Cross Country was Coach Steck. And it was truly amazing seeing the personal and athletic growth that took place because these individuals, they got on board with what he was trying to sell to them. And he ended up instilling some amazing lessons that made them into good members of society, good people, you know? So it's kind of like he had this dynamic formula from all of his years of experience that he was able to continuously refine this formula allowed like a unique tailoring of lessons for each individual um, and that's a rare thing to perfect so as I became a coach that lesson was always at the forefront of my mind especially you know when I interacted with the kids or made the hard decisions but it didn't stop there because to this day a lot of those lessons that I ended up learning are just ones that I ended up making a habit of and I have seen some success with the lessons that he was teaching. And how do you show your appreciation to someone who has done that for you? Well, as I became a coach, I kind of had that question answered. And the best way to show your appreciation to someone who has mentored you in your life is to just be successful in something that makes you happy. And I always would smile when Coach Steck would talk about past runners who truly gave 100% of themselves to the program. And you could just see his passion just light up in his face and it just permeated through the words that he was saying, you know, and that's a very infectious feeling that a lot of people just kind of want. So, Coach Steck, uh, I truly hope that your retirement is everything that you and Mary want it to be. Um, your legacy of involvement in the Illinois running community is not one that is going to go away soon. It will stand the test of time. So, from the bottom of my heart, Thank you for everything you have done for me, for Barrington Running, and for future generations that will benefit from the attitudes of individuals that you've mentored over your career. Thank you, Coach Stack. Hey, Chris. I'm actually wearing my first Barrington Cross Country shirt that I ever received um, all the way back in 2002, and uh, I just wanted to wear this in honor of you. I didn't know it at the time, but that was going to start the beginning of a 15-year partnership, friendship, coaching next to you for all those years has meant more to me than you can possibly realize. I actually learned everything about coaching from you. I just wanted to say thank you for your knowledge, your passion, and most of all, your friendship. Enjoy your retirement. Please keep in touch with us. Take care. Congratulations, Chris, on your retirement. 
just want to say thank you. Thank you for, you know, teaching me and coaching me about the sport of cross country. I definitely wouldn't be the coach that I am today without you. So I just want to say thank you for that. Thank you for what you've done for the sport, Chris. You've definitely left your mark here in Illinois with, you know, over here in Barrington and your teams in Stag. You're one of those, those guys people talk about. So thank you for what you've done. Thank you for your friendship. Really appreciate it. Love whenever we meet up, we're just shooting the breeze and talking about, you know, the boys and life and all that. So really, uh, I enjoy that. So I hope we continue to do that. So I want to say enjoy this time. Go golfing. I'm sure I'll be doing plenty of that. Go out running. Spend time with Barnabas and Mary. And hopefully this fall we get to see you on the cross country course. So enjoy the summer. And again, congratulations. Hey coach, I'm gonna to try to wrap this thing up here. I know that you are a man who appreciates efficiency. I tried to cut out as much fluff as I could from this little reunion. I just wanna say my own sincere, heartfelt thank you for everything that you've done in my life, for everything you've done for the program. And I promise you that as long as I'm around and a part of Barrington Cross Country, your name, your contributions are gonna be all over the blueprint of what Barrington Cross Country represents. Doing things the right way, being one's absolute best they can be at the task that they have at hand. And in the end, striving to be the absolute best person that they can be. You've given that gift to countless young men and women in your career, and thank you just barely scratches the surface. Have a wonderful retirement. We'll miss you around here. Hopefully you'll make the drive up for some state meets and we can see you out on the course. All the best to you and Mary.